Make-A-Wish employees what was the most strangest thing a Make-A-Wish kid asked for and actually received? I shot an internal promotional video for Make-A-Wish once. I got to read through a big book of wishes they had granted. Some of them were so extravagant and amazing. Family vacations, celebrity meetings, and then I saw 3 year old who wished for a banana split for breakfast, and that's what they gave him. No one was like I yo, wish higher. And then I saw 3 year old who wished for a banana split for breakfast, and that's what they gave him. No one was like I yo, wish higher. You'd think they would be. Like if I was the person taking their wish and seeing what we could do, I have to imagine my response would be man I'll just do that for you on my own. Think bigger. I helped host a visit to a planetarium by a kid whose wish was to go to the moon. The front office folks thought I could just give her a personal tour of the planetarium and show her some nice high resolution visuals, but I thought she deserved better than that. I commissioned a jeweler friend and meteorite enthusiast to make a silver crescent moon necklace, which he graciously donated to the cause, and I donated a small lunar meteorite from my own collection. It was a gorgeous necklace very much to the credit of my friend's artistry and generosity. We couldn't take her to the moon so we gave it to her instead. She was thrilled, but later said her real highlight of the trip was the astronaut ice cream. Ah, kids. My daughter was a make-a-wish kid. She asked to go to Australia to meet the Wiggles. Unfortunately, she wasn't able to travel that far. We live in the US health-wise. She made a second wish to meet Captain America. We never told Cap that he was a backup wish after the Wiggles were a no-go. LOL. I worked at a hospice and we had a wishing program. One of our patients, 24 year old with brain cancer, wanted to hold a sloth. Apparently, sloths are very nervous creatures, so it's a little tricky to actually hold one. I found a local company that does visits to schools and whatnot who had a sloth. Sloths only poop about once a week and the sloth could only travel the day after he pooped, because they get nervous any longer than that and the sloth has stress diarrhea. So basically, we had to wait until the sloth pooped and then set up the visit for the next day. The sloth pooped on Thanksgiving, so we set up the visit for the next morning. The patient was able to hold and pet a very sweet sloth. The patient died about 3 weeks later, and I am very happy I was able to help give her some joy in her final weeks. Comma the sloth pooped on Thanksgiving. So we set up the visit for the next morning. I never would have imagined to ever read this sentence, but now I am glad that I did. There was a make-a-wish kid in a class I taught once and their wish was to tour a pickle factory. Pickles were their all-time favorite food and they wanted to see how the sausage was made so to speak. Apparently Vlas each rose to the occasion in a major way and she had the time of her life. I swear my youngest would make a wish like this. He got Benadryl in hospital once at 1am and they told me it would probably make him pass right out. Well, in children it sometimes does the opposite. He was wired. So here's this 3 year old who can't sleep in the middle of the night, demanding, Mom I want a pickle party. I worked at a Lego retail store in the 2000s and make a wish approached us for a child with terminal osteosarcoma who wanted to be in the store for a day. Lego unfortunately denied the request which surprised myself and the rest of the staff because LEGO was a pretty great company. Staff decided to honor the request ourselves. We closed the store early on a Sunday, then invited the kid and family in. He had a full run of the store. We collectively paid for like $1000 worth of toys for him to take home, and just spent the entire evening building WE he wanted. He died a few months later. You and the rest of that staff are amazing. Not make a wish. But my brother got terminal brain cancer when he was 18. He was given 3 to 6 months to live. Back then his only wish was to be an NFL player. But he was 5 feet 8. All heart. He was just like Rudy in that Notre Dame football movie. He fought it for 6 years. Somewhere around his 22nd birthday he and I were talking about having something worth living for. I told him it didn't matter what it was but a vision for the future that he would fight for was important and encouraged him to find something to give his life to. We went on a vacation soon after that, and because we were broke from medical bills and 4 years of battling cancer as a family, this was a huge deal. We hadn't had a family vacation for a long time. A family friend put us up in their beach house and gave us some money to have a good time there. My brother came alive on the trip, 
It was so impactful to him that he came home and decided to start a non-profit organization. He called it a week away. It was very similar to make a wish. Terminally sick patients apply and benefit from an all expenses paid vacation with their family or group of caregivers. That was a big deal to him to include the family because, if you've ever gone through something like that, you know it's not just the patient who suffers and loses their freedom, it's everyone they are close to. He worked his butt off to start the organization. He formed it and began sending families to places like the Outer Banks and Ocean City and other East Coast beaches. A week before he died, he launched his first big month-long fundraiser. He passed away knowing that he had raised enough to send like 10 families on respite weeks. It was like he was passing the baton off to others who could keep on fighting. The org is still going strong today. If anyone is blessed to have their health and a sweet vacation spot you'd like to donate for occasional use by sick people or coordinated by an awesome organization, I'd encourage you to reach out to the a week away folks. You get to play a part in people's lives like the awesome people helping in these make a wish stories. He sounded like an amazing person. In Wizard 101 there's a quest with an NPC named Brandon, named after a Make-A-Wish kid who played the game, and his request was to design a side quest for the game. You meet Brandon and go help him clear out this dungeon with two really freaking hard bosses. Was a lot of fun. At the end you get a gem you can socket that lets you summon Brandon into battle as a follower. Pretty cool. Not sure what ended up happening to Brandon. But it's really cool that thousands of PPL have gotten to enjoy being a part of his wish tbh. He's not the only make a wish kid in the game either. I know one of them passed away, but he was in the Dino world so I don't think that's Brandon after a quick google, I mostly stopped before the first arc was even over so details are a bit hazy. And the family issued a statement saying how grateful they were that they'd always be able to visit him in game. I was a chef at a fancy steakhouse in Jacksonville, Florida. One day my proprietor came to me and said this is Stacy the new girl she'll be training with you. I look over and it's this adorable little girl in bright pink chef coat. I babysat my little cousins at the time. So I was actually pretty used to entertaining 10 year old girls at the time. So I showed her the ropes. We made all kinds of stuff that were on the surface kind of random. Candied bacon. Cornbread, prosciutto wrapped boas in cheese stuffed asparagus, a sweet tea brined pork chop, a sorrel garnish salad type thing and some other cool garnishes. We were having fun, I then made a puree out of the cornbread let her plate up the dish a few different ways to show how you can play with ingredients and height to showcase different parts of the dish. She had a blast. It was only at the end when the father came up to me, in tears that I realized what was going on. In the moment I was a little upset because nobody told me, but I realized after it was for the best. I probably would not have been as bright and vibrant with the lessons had I have known. But it was a fulfilling experience for sure. I hope their family is doing well. Side note, I have Ray worked and Ray ran the dish as a special a few times in memory of that day, it was that impactful. I bet for that kid it was nice just to be treated normally for a while. My cousin was a make a wish kid. He loved golf, like had a scholarship to go play college. He loved it so much. He got to meet and play a round of golf with Payne Stewart. Unfortunately, he died not too long after that. Frick cancer. ETA. Stewart Payne to Payne Stewart. I was approached by a similar organization who wanted to arrange a day for a kid to shadow a veterinarian. I'm just a small animal veterinarian with a small hospital so I found it odd that I'd be approached. I said yes, who tf would say no, and we picked a day and had our regular patients in the hospital and the kid got to watch us do our thing for a day. We gave him a lab coat and a stethoscope and let him tag along and see x-rays and ultrasounds and watch surgeries. I brought my dog in so he could try the ultrasound on her. He seemed to enjoy it. It wasn't a terribly strange request really. It just seems like my day to day isn't something anyone would consider their dream experience. The perspective. Some days you wake up wondering if you want to call in sick. That kid wakes up every day wishing to do nothing else. I had a co-worker at my student job in college who had leukemia as a child. He wished to be in the Iditarod so they flew his family to Alaska and he got to meet all the dogs and ride in a sled for a leg of the race. If I remember correctly he also got a husky puppy. He was 20 when I met him. I was a couple of years older and graduated college and never saw him again. 
The leukemia came back and he died in 2016. I don't think he was much older than 25. One of the nicest guys I've ever met. I hope heaven is real just for you, Ben. After I survived cancer at 17, I was offered a wish. I went to Christmas Island with my family to see the spawning of the red crabs, reckoned to be one of the seven natural wonders of the world. Picture it, a million fist sized red land crabs making their way down to the sea edge to release their eggs into the ocean over a period of just 3 hours or so. The Make-A-Wish volunteers looked horrified as I explained it, and I'm typing this now, so yes, I lived thanks. When I was on a carrier they flew a kid and his parents out. They routinely fly distinguished visitors but we thought it was weird there was this kid. They got tours and watched flight ops but he couldn't fly with us so they asked us to have dinner with him so he could at least meet pilots and ask questions. It was really humbling when we realized this is what he was there for. He literally wished to just come see what we do and hang it with us. Wasn't weird or anything but one of my friends had leukemia in 8th grade and her wish was to meet Adam Sandler. So she got to spend the day on set of The Longest Yard with him. Your friend was lucky they weren't filming Billy Madison. I'm a more volunteer. The volunteers get to do all the fun stuff, like meet with the families, get the kids excited about their wish, we send little gifts and stuff along the way, and then be there when the wish is granted. We don't have to do any of the boring admin stuff. I have a little girl right now whose original wish was a unicorn. 6YO with severe epilepsy, has like 15 seizures a day and has been through like 10 surgeries already. She wasn't having any of that fake stuff, like a stuffed animal or a costume. She insisted 4 weeks on a unicorn. That one was hard to manage. She's getting a cat. My brother had cancer when we were in high school. We all got to go to an ice skating rink in NYC and play hockey with some of the New York Rangers. He was a Flyers fan, but what can you do? This wasn't actually his wish, but it was set up by the Make-A-Wish Foundation for all the terminal kids at the hospital I'm pretty sure. He was a Flyers fan, but what can you do? IFN that ain't just the typical Flyers fan experience. I was a Black Hawk pilot in the army and we had a Make-A-Wish kid who wanted to fly in an army helicopter. We had to remove all the seats so we could strap his wheelchair down in the middle of the helicopter and we flew him around at treetop level yanking and banking with the doors open for a while. I was a Make-A-Wish kid back in 2017 and my wish was to go see a live brain surgery in Seattle at University of Washington. I loved Grey's Anatomy, I loved Dr. Shepard, and I had brain cancer so I wanted to see what the my doctors kind of saw. What an experience and learned so much. I was a little neurosurgeon for a day, and the neurosurgeon was playing the pixies while operating. What a great happy moment, I won't forget. They even sent my family from Arizona to Seattle with me, to have dinner with me in the Space Needle. Whoa, that's wild. Very cool, and obviously I'm glad you're still with us. Former employee here. Over half of the wishes are Disney related and beyond that they typically fall into a few categories. I wish to travel. I wish to meet. I wish to be. I wish to have. I wish to give. You get the idea. So, I always liked wishes that fell outside of the typical wish categories. One time, there was a boy that wished for the perfect baked potato. I don't know if the wish granters went through with that wish. They may have waited until he was a little older, but I still laugh when I think about it. Volunteers are trained to ensure they are determining the child's one true wish, not mom's wish to go on a cruise, or dad's wish for new tools, etc. A lot of work and thought goes into fulfilling a child's wish. I really hope they got some Michelin star chefs to make that kid some baked potatoes. I used to know a dude who got sick in high school, and his wish was to see Rocksteady Studios and be in one of their games. The studio was super cool, evidently, and they put him in Arkham Knight as a GCPD officer. Best part of the story is that he recovered and, last I heard, is still doing okay to this day. I had a wish when I was 8 due to having leukemia and a bone marrow transplant. My first thought was meet Bruce Willis. Die Hard was my newly discovered favorite film. But my dad asked if I wanted something that would last like a computer. I always loved playing on the hospital computer so yay went for that. Best decision ever. I might owe my career to it. I hear Bruce Willis is a bit of a titiral anyway. 
you probably could have guilted Bruce Willis into buying you a computer. What about that article I saw a few weeks ago about a kid who wanted to use a taser on someone so they let her tase a police officer? That was gold. Okay this is more wholesome than anything, but a girl who was a grade above me had cancer in high school. She graduated and I joined the band my senior year to see the spark with her name and face on it from Make-A-Wish. She used her wish to donate new instruments to the school's band, as they were needing new ones. I still know her to this day and she makes a ton of jokes about cancer that it even freaked out her college roommates. She's one of the nicest people I've ever met. I knew someone in high school who'd had cancer in middle school. Anytime people would tell her she was so nice or sweet, she'd be like I used to be a total B. Then karma gave me cancer, so now I'm nice. Ha ha ha. I did a children's wish 17 which is an equivalent charity. I initially asked for tickets to the Victoria Secret fashion show after party. While they found it humorous I was asked to choose a backup. I went to the Galapagos in the end, so that was pretty sweet. Going to the Galapagos would be amazing. I just imagine it would be difficult to travel while critically ill. Do you even get to enjoy the trip? When my son was 3, his make a wish was to meet Elmo. For a 3 year old not that strange, I guess. Sent us to Sesame World in Philly. We get there and they had no clue he was on a make a wish trip, but they were great and he met Elmo. I'm a wish granter. My strangest personal wish was a refurbished 80s camper so that she could have her own space. She couldn't go out in public while her transplant was newish, and she was going crazy in the house with two younger siblings. It was actually pretty cool, although the strange part was that Moore can't actually use used things like that. So we had to get her a new VW camper, or something like that. It's been a while, and doubtfully make it look vintage. It's so strange. Anyways, please feel free to apply to be a Make-A-Wish volunteer. It's such a rewarding experience. And even if you don't feel like you can work with the kids, there's also other volunteer positions like fundraising, event planning, and more. When my sister was 5 and I was 8, she had cancer and had the opportunity to make a wish. When our mom and the make-a-wish person sat down with her, they told her she could wish for whatever she wanted. She just kept saying she wanted macaroni. They kept saying but it can be anything you want, yet she simply wanted macaroni and cheese. After some strong encouragement to think bigger, and the make-a-wish person suggesting Disneyland, she chose to go to Disneyland. I'm not a make-a-wish employee, but a kid at my church a long time ago wished to sit in a bathtub full of peach-colored loofers. The softball kind obviously, not the hard sponge-like ones. He got it, and the church bulletin had a picture of this kid smiling like a maniac in a huge bathtub full of loofers, so I guess he was happy with his wish. That's so cute. Reminds me of the Patch Adams lady and her swimming pool of noodles. Loofers would have been so much easier to clean. My friend. I'm 14 and my good buddy had all leukemia. He asked for a ride in a fighter jet and he somehow got it. I was surprised because the doctors would say how his bones were getting fragile and weaker and I guess I though the g-force of the jet would hurt him but he was fine and had a blast. He's doing better now and is scheduled out in about 3 months. I have muscular dystrophy, and when I found out about Make-A-Wish I wanted to do something as big as I could so I wished for a vacation in London. They paid for a week long vacation and my family and I got to see ton of tourist spots and to go a lot of museums which are my favorite places to visit. It was an amazing experience, and whenever I see Make-A-Wish drives I always donate if I can for such an amazing experience they gave me. IDK if anyone's posted it yet but a weird one that is awesome was Jay Harmer. His make a wish was to meet his favorite YouTuber at Nerdcubed. Granted and they made hilarious YouTube videos until he passed a few months later. Absolute unit and heck of a sense of humor. I still go check his Twitter every now and again. I remember this. I love those videos he was great. I went to high school with someone whose youngest brother had some rare terminal disease and he was at the end of it. This kid was 10 and the thing he's wanted to do since he was 5, was to be a train conductor and take trains all around the world. With the help of Make-A-Wish and Doe Mothers, he was able to go and be a conductor for 6 of his last 8 months of life and he traveled all over the US. He seemed like he had so much fun. A funeral. He knew his parents wouldn't be able to afford one, 
so he wished to have his funeral paid for. They were able to convince his to make another wish, and he wished for gold lockets for his mom and sister with his initials engraved on them. Ah, uh, yeah. that's so sweet and sensible, but also so sad. I was a mega wish child in my province. I've had brain cancer since 12 and still have it today. My wish initially going to meet the cast from Hawaii 5 at Hawaii, but then I ended up also wanting to get this MSI Aegis pre-built gaming PC. When I told them I wanted that, they said you sure then I don't remember what happened but it wasn't until I was 16 when I got my wish for a VR gaming setup and I built my PC at Canada computers right before the pandemic and the GPU shortage. Feels good and as of now, my treatment is stable and I have only gone through radiotherapy two times. Only thing is, there isn't much space in my room so having the base requirements for a VR play area is kinda sad. Hopefully I can get a bigger area though because I like playing in VR since it's nice. Good luck with everything. My wife worked as a nurse at a children's hospital and cared for a 17 year old cancer patient whose wish was to meet with Califa. He showed up and spent the day, my wife said they went on a walk and came back high as balls. She said it was a great day for the boy and his family, he passed away a few weeks later. This is the best one I've read, I'd also be getting high as balls if I was terminally ill. I got a wish when I was 8, was a massive wrestling fan at the time and used to watch it when I was in hospital as they had Foxtel, Australian cable. Anyway so I wished for Foxtel to watch wrestling. It took a few months but eventually it got granted. Free Fox till with all channels and PPVS until I turned 16 plus the biggest TV on the market back then. They forgot to ever turn off the free Fox till. I'm now 30. Sweet. Congrats. On both the Fox till and the recovery. I stayed at an Airbnb in rural Victoria, Australia and they had this indoor half pipe. My boyfriend at the time loved skateboarding. So we were very interested why this elder couple had a skate ramp in their backyard in the middle of nowhere. Turns out their son had cancer and that's what he wished for. He made a full recovery. I thought you were terminal and your wish was to stay at an Airbnb in rural Victoria. I was kinda confused. I had leukemia 18 years ago and I asked for a laptop. Think it was my first one. I was 16 and was top of the range at the time. My dad was basically guilted into paying for extended warranty by the store saying they wouldn't be able to give the charity as good a deal etc if he didn't. About a month before the warranty ran out, think it was either 3 or 5 years I sent it off as one of the hinges had broken. They took too long to repair so ended sending me something like £1100 and vouchers to buy a replacement instead so I bought another laptop which lasted me for another good few years so was worth taking out the warranty after all. The extended warranty being a good value is the real miracle in this lol. This one kid really want to meet his favorite comedian. For legal reasons they can't say who was first or second pick because they declined. But it was super awkward having to ask him what his third favorite comedian was. He settled on Daniel Tosh. And to this day, I don't know if he was freaking kidding or not. I didn't use my wish for 18 years because I have sickle cell anemia and that condition doesn't have a cure. I never knew what I wanted to do. I always knew it was a lot of power cause I was a really really self aware kid. I ended up giving a few Nintendo switches to the hematology ward in the hospital I spent so much time in. I never told anyone in real life about this cause I think it's a pretty weird and personal wish. One of my students had cancer. He was too sick to travel, but wanted to send his family and friends somewhere, but more said no. He ended up using his wish to get TV carts and video games for the oncology ward since that was his favorite thing to do and they only had one. Now they have one per room. Sadly, he didn't make it, but he did get to see the results before he passed. I am the kid in this case. I didn't have cancer, but at the time, my heart was just not doing so well. So, since I kind of qualified for make a wish, I was considering two options at the time, a dog pet friendly restaurant or a camper. I decided to go with the camper, since I can't control my body temperature and overheat very easily, so I couldn't do tent camping. Now, I am happily camping as I write this answer here. I was granted a wish after beating brain cancer in 2016. They flew my mum and I out to the capital city of our state and we stayed in the flashest, 
most expensive hotel suite with all the bells and whistles. We got free dinner, drinks and dessert on arrival. Got to chill in the VIP lounge while we were waiting for our room. Our room was decorated with teddy bears and chocolates and more decorations. The next day we were chauffeured to the local mall in a limo and I went on an 11 hour shopping spree with a preloaded visa card and bought every solitary thing you would imagine a 16 year old girl wanting. I ended up having to buy another suitcase to take everything home with me but it was the most epic 3 days of my life. I'll never forget it. A friend of mine had cancer as a kid and wished for Play-Doh. They convinced him to change his wish to an Orlando trip, Disney World and Universal Studios where everyone in his family besides him got bird flu so they were incapacitated the entire time. The Make-A-Wish representative and my friend had a blast though getting to skip to the front of the line every time lol. How my cousin asked for a box of Legos. He was told to think bigger and he said a big box of Legos they also convinced him to think bigger haha. <laughs> if you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.